We're gonna be doing what I don't wanna do and it's addressing my no by ear. <gasps> Fun. <laughs> Kidding, I have addressed my no by ear before. I'm still in my no by ear. I'm still going strong depending on how you wanna see it. Hello everyone and welcome if you're new. I am Jenny O'Malley and we are trying to save money this year and not giving into capitalism, you know, the usual. Everybody's trying. We're all trying out here, aren't we? Should I start with the negative or the positive first? Let's start with the positive first. That way you can be like, wow, good for you. And then you can judge me after. I have fully paid off three credit cards. <laughs> they were killing me, okay? The credit cards, ugh. I have a few more to go, but those three were the worst in interest and I am so glad to have paid them off. <laughs> Everybody cheer, thank you, thank you, thank you. As for my dog's vet bill, cause I put it on a credit card every time I pay it off, we have to go again and so it feels like it's like not going anywhere. Each vet visit is quite expensive. The good news, he's doing so much better and because he's doing better, there's fewer visits. They're gonna start weaning him off different medications and hopefully he can fully heal from this heart condition. Well, not fully, but for the most part, fully functioning and living his best little dog adult life. So I'm proud of that, good news. Because I committed to the no by year, I think, and because I mentally put that out in the universe, I don't know what happened, but I had a very successful January on TikTok. Well, the most amount of money I've ever made as an influencer through TikTok and it was insane. And with that money, I was able to pay off all that debt. I opened a high yield savings account in January okay and it was through discover I've never had a savings account in my life so I know there's a lot of cheering in this video but I'm so proud of myself my student loans got deferred for another year I applied for that they gave it to me so helpful that is something that I wor will worry about next year in the month of January, I had a bunch of gift cards from Christmas time. Like if I wanted to go out to an event, if I wanted to eat, if I wanted to drink, I used gift cards and I had that much in gift cards that it sustained me for a month. Granted, I don't go out that much. Downgraded my iPhone in the month of January and that ended up saving me $5 a month actually towards my phone bill. And it's crazy because I went from an iPhone 14 Pro Max to an iPhone 15 Pro. It's cheaper. I save $5 a month. I know that might not be a lot, but that can go towards something else. I ended up buying a phone case and a screen protector in January for that. I was feeling very inspired in January, so I did cancel a few pre-orders from Barnes and Noble's pre-order books. Clearly books is my problem. I canceled a bunch of pre-orders, not every single one, but the ones that I knew that I was, I was not gonna like that book and I was just doing it for the clout, for the vibes, you know, because everyone else was doing it. I don't need a pre-order of any fourth wing books if I don't, I didn't even like fourth wing, you know? Not a single thing has been bought on Pango this year. I've sold on there. And if you don't know, Pango Books is kind of like a Depop or a Poshmark for books. I have to say, in January, I did replace some makeup products and I replaced them with e.l.f. products. Oh, my first no buy year purchase of a restock. Restock alert. Lost all these products, expired, done, done. Actually, this one kind of sucked. All my mascara, I've been using samples for like months and they're making my eyes itch so bad. If you haven't watched my empties yet, watch my empties. I have gone through a lot of products and used things all up, which has been great. I did notice that I did not account food in my original no buy year video because food to me is a basic necessity. It, like you need to eat. Granted, I'm not eating at bougie restaurants every weekend. Sometimes when I do order something, I usually eat half and then eat the rest the next day as takeout. So it does last for me. What I did notice, money. I I spend on alcohol. I am proud to say that I did not spend any money on clothes. Not a single item of clothing was bought by me. Even for Renaissance Fair, uh, I reused my outfit last year and when I went to my friend's house, cause we were meeting up at her house to go to Ren Fair together, she was like, hey, I have this extra vest. It would fit you perfectly. Keep it. I don't know. I felt like when I let things go and I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if this is crazy. This is like coincidence or whatever. But I was like, you know what? I don't need to buy this stuff. Like I can figure it out. Like I can go with what I have. And when I started using the things that I have, things just started falling into my lap. Like people were giving me stuff. I don't know. And I was just like, okay, okay. My hands are open with arms wide open. That's the real song. That's the real song. Let's talk about where I went wrong. Er, wronger. Cause I feel like you all already think that I'm, I've gone wrong. 
but I haven't. I've been doing so good. Like, you don't understand. Compared to who I was before, I've been doing so good. I'm so proud of myself. But where I went wrong, horribly wrong, is books. Are we shocked? No. Like I said in my original video, I have a fairy loot subscription. So I was keeping that. And that's how I was getting books every month. If I didn't like the fairy loot book that I got that month, I immediately sold it off on Pango Books. How do I phrase this? Fairy loot decided to make more subscriptions. <sighs> Why would they do this? I don't know. So I signed up for their Romanticy subscription box. And I have two fairy loot subscription box. Also, they started dropping so many bonus exclusives. Like outside of the subscription box, they were like, oh, Oh, we're dropping this bonus exclusive a house moving castle this weekend I ended up pre-ordering quite a few of those to the point where I honestly don't know which ones I pre-ordered and that's bad That's how you know it's bad. There's that speaking of fourth wing. I sold my copy of fourth wing at a hefty uh, Price not as bad compared to other people, but I did sell it for like around 250 which is fine It's fine. It's a rare book first edition sprayed edges yada yada with that 250 rather than investing it into paying off my debt or my dog's debt um i traded it i used that money for that i don't regret it some may say i failed the no buy here some may have said that already with the food and the alcohol i did end up selling a few other special edition books um that were like really sought out for that i didn't particularly need to keep on my bookshelf reselling is a thing i try not to make the prices too freaking crazy where it's absurd and ridiculous because i hate that personally so it's crazy out there with the special edition books it's a whole other universe world it reminds me of like uh, oh my god when the disney the disney people in the popcorn buckets it gives you the same vibe and it kind of gives me the ache but i participate in it so i don't know i wrote in big letters next to march book haul sad i had a moment of weakness play the clip it was raining pouring i was stuck in there for an hour and i bought four books <laughs> I officially actually fucked up my no buy year, but that's okay. It's a low buy year, no buy year. We learn from our mistakes, but let me show you what I got anyways. And then because that happened, a few weeks later, I had a very emotional day. And you know when you're, ugh, I don't know, maybe this is just me toxic, but I had a very emotional day. I was very down, very down, very sad, very, very down bad, okay? And I ended up purchasing on Blackwell's website the entire series of Magnolia Parks, which was $80. That may not sound like a lot, but to me, I felt like, I don't know, I feel like I failed. I felt like I failed, but you know what? It's April, we're starting fresh. I don't even have the books in my hands yet. I freaking paid for it and I haven't seen them. Where are they? It's April, we're starting anew. We have not purchased anything crazy. But yeah, books is my struggle. I am so proud of how far I've come, honestly, with this no buy year because it could have been worse. It could be worse. I could have spent $500 on Shein, okay? But I haven't, and I've sold books on my bookshelf and made space for new books, so I feel like I keep trading. I don't know, I give myself excuses. We're working on it, we're working on it. No games have been purchased, no clothes, um, no eBooks. I have not purchased any eBooks because I have 75 that are unread on my Kindle. And the books that I have purchased, that I have broken and purchased, it's because I read them and I really loved them and I wanted them on my shelf. So technically I read them. They're not unread books. So take that. That's all I have to share on my no buy year. We will continue, we will persevere, and we will get better. This has been a really, I think a really good start. I think I did very good, but we can do better. There's always room for improvement. I hope I inspire you to do a no buy year or a low buy year. It's hard, but it's possible. And it's been helping, it really has. It's made a difference and I see it. My credit score sees a difference. Am I right? <laughs> For shame. I will take my shame elsewhere. See you later. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Yes, yes. I will not be spending money on books. Thank you. Thank you. I swear. I'm giving myself the challenge. Not a single book bought in April. That's the new challenge. Okay. Fairy Lou doesn't count. It's already prepaid for. So as always, stay beautiful. I love you. Peace.